Is this kind of one of the best pitches we've had yet? What a place. This is our best stop yet. We've got chickens on the roof. The fridge, it stinks. Every time you open it, the smell is awful. Because there's also ants around. You guys are going to have to put up with Florida vlogs every year. Who's this? This is awesome. This do you? Yeah. This is a state park. <laughs> and look at that right on the seafront. <laughs> this do you, George? It's humid. It looks freezing, but it's actually warm. <laughs> is this kind of one of the best pictures we've had yet? It's, it's really weird because you think about like the state park. Oh, it was a bit lightning. And then the and there's these two industrial um, bridges. So the bridge to our left was built in 1908 as part of the railway that took goods and services all the way out to Key West. And then the new bridge was completed in 2008. You didn't know any of that, did you? <laughs> Look, you've been doing your reading and research yeah. on the way here. Well, it's been a while since they've had a bit of Lindsay info, hasn't it? So quick look at the picture while we're here. Yes. We've got a Tateland bench over here. Yep. We have a barbecue over here. <laughs> oh, or a grill as they call it, huh? We've got no charcoal then. No, uh, no, we've got burgers and things to put on the grill, we forgot about that. Um, but we can go down to the stand and have a look. Right. And see. And like, not that we're grilling tonight. No, not and with this one. We must be off by one o'clock tomorrow. Right. The pitch. Yes. Check-in is after three. But the ladies were really hopeful that we'd get another pitch tomorrow. Yeah, fingers crossed. Otherwise, we're going to drive down to Key West and see if we can find anything down there, right? Yeah. Got that road noise tonight. Yeah. What a place. And I know it's a bit moody and a bit stormy, but that's cool. Tomorrow it's going to be beautiful. And all of that, and it cost less than £50. It was... £47 roughly with the exchange rate, so about $54. For this pitch right here. For this here. pitch on the front. On the keys. Yeah. Amazing. And I can't decide whether I love or hate the bridges. I think I love them because they're just so unexpected. <laughs> and they're so, you know, they're so important to the system. And this is a state park, which is why it's such good value, because we looked at another one earlier and it was $250 for the night. That wasn't a state park, that no. was a holiday park. Right. Yeah. A few moments later. Got it just in time. The heavens are open out there. Look at that. So hot in here. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so the boys are watching a movie back there. I'm melting. I'm Guardians cooking. of the Galaxy. And you are cooking up. I've got some chicken. I've lost my garlic and herb seasoning. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> And pan frying the chicken because you've got no oven. I know it goes so far against me. In butter as well because we didn't bother with them um, oil. Nice. But lots of salt and pepper. And what you got going on here, though? Um, potato salad. Salad, potato salad, and we've got some wraps as well. Cool. A nice healthy meal. Well, we call chicken fried in butter healthy. <laughs> well, compared to what we have been eating out. I know the plan was to put it on the grill. Right. Um, but that's not happening tonight. The heavens opened, didn't it? Is that muzzy? No, it's, no, it's just a little moth. Okay. The heavens opened as soon as we got here this afternoon, didn't it? Like 10 stopped. minutes after we got here. So. Absolutely not stopped. So it's been a movie afternoon with the boys and you've cooked up inside without an oven. Without an oven. Well, there you right, go, looking forward to salad. getting into that. GoPro's playing up again, but I've formatted the SD card and lost a load of footage but hopefully it's working now and i'm doing a bit of video editing with a view like that it didn't get any better than this so me and harry's just had a shower and we're off to find the gang see where they're at they've gone for a swim i think there they are this is beautiful i'm so happy isn't it wow yeah 
Lovely okay. little beach we got here, isn't it? Yeah, so pretty and tropical. <laughs> and there's a warning sign, I don't know if you've seen it, that says, um, beware of the manatees, not because they're dangerous or anything, but don't touch them. Right. Because they're in this area. So, I want a manatee. <laughs> I promise not to cuddle it. <laughs> I had a really lovely swim with George and we've been poodling and there've been fishes, it's been gorgeous. But now I'm just gonna sit and dry in the sunshine and let the Florida heat just gently kiss me dry. It's lovely. While I'm doing that, I'm catching up on my magazine subscriptions. As you probably know, if you've been following the channel for a while, Readly is one of our sponsors and I absolutely adore the fact that I can keep in touch with all my magazines, keep up to date with my yoga and the new food and have food inspiration recipes and all sorts going on and I love that. And I'm liking that I can download it and use it offline on my phone. Before we came away, Readly got in touch and said they've added 80 new Disney titles to their subscription service. Um, they've got comics about Frozen, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. George and I particularly like the Star Wars themed magazines and we're reading Han Solo while we were queuing at Disney. It kept us going because I knew the queues were going to be long so I downloaded some to my phone to read while we're in the queue. It's great because the parental controls mean that I can leave George to read on his own and not stress about what he could come across. That's really good feature. So if you, your children or your grandchildren enjoy Disney and want access to over 6,000 different titles of both new and past editions of different magazines from all genres, use the link in the description and you'll get two months completely free. And the best thing is you can cancel at any point. Florida has 175 state parks. Most of them are open for day visitors all year round. Some of them also have campsites as well. So far we've stayed at Lake Louise and we've got two out of the 10 that are on the Keys that we're gonna go and stay at for the rest of this trip. To the west of the state park is a trail and as you come up the trail there are protected species on either side so all the flora and fauna is protected, the insects, everything there is untouched by humans and pets or you get in trouble. You follow the trail up and you come to a bridge and this bridge was part of the original US 1 highway. It was built between 1905 and 1912 and was destroyed in the 1935 hurricane. They then turned it into a road and then it was replaced by that bridge over there. Oh, you and I, we got it. This guy here wandering around. <laughs> How cool is that? There's another one here. <laughs> Funny little things, isn't they? Awesome. So it looks like they're giving the pitch a good clean before the next person comes on. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I just check with them and every time someone checks out of a pitch, they go and give the pitch a good clean. They're amazing. <laughs> I love these state parks. They are fantastic. And such good value for money. Right guys, let me show you the facilities while I'm here. There's a couple of showers here. It's a bit noisy because there's fans on. Nice big shower there. Over here is a couple of sinks, some urinals, and a couple of toilets. Basic but very ample facilities. Bahia on the. Bahia on the. The H's are meant to be silent in the pronunciation of this park. Like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this place is a little slice of heaven. This is our best stop yet. Yeah. And right on the front here. We've been it's really awesome. lucky. It's a shame we couldn't get two nights here. We tried no. to book this one for some time and it only just came up, didn't it? Yeah. So there are several state parks along the Keys and they release booking dates 11 months in advance. And I think the next ones that I saw that were available here were about 11 months <laughs> away. So sort of November Apart time. the odd ones that pop up like this one did here. Yeah, the odd cancellation. We were so lucky to get this. Right. We've got John Pennekamp uh, tomorrow for two days. So looking yes. forward to just kind of relaxing there and maybe getting out and doing some snorkeling and going out on a boat ride maybe. That's a very different park. It's slightly bigger and there are more activities 
to do there. There's a lot going on. But we have nowhere to stay tonight and no. <laughs> boondocking and wild camping on the Keys is a no-no. Apparently. Apparently. So, let's go and find out. Or let's see if we can find somewhere for tonight that's not 250 bucks a night. That's the thing as well. Very yeah. expensive down here. Right, let's hit the road. Let's but first of all, I've got to do the servicing. Let's drop the grey, drop the black, top up the fresh. As with most pitchers in the US, there's water to the pitch. So just topping up our water before we go and drop the grey and the black. And here in the natural habitat, <laughs> we have... Oh, it's a dirty LV job. man in his element. Give me my toilet cassettes any day. <laughs> what a pain this is. Right, black first. Oh, it sounds like there's quite a lot in there. Yes. I had a few beers, didn't I? Mm. <laughs> but of course, we do the black first because we do the grey last to flush the black through. And then we're going to give it a rinse. So there are several situations where I've, I, where I've ended up doing things because someone needs to film. That's what we're doing today. But as a role reversal, <laughs> I need to film, Steve needs to do. No point two of us getting our hands dirty either. In true Roman Radford style, winging it, we've only got a pitch for tonight, haven't we? Honey, 66. I went to check out and uh, he said, yeah, we've got one pitch for, for tonight. So we booked that, but we're gonna head down to Key West to see if we can find something for the 24th and 25th. We've got somewhere for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but it's at Boyd's at Key West. Yes. Um, it's not cheap. I knew it weren't going to be cheap. It's $438.75 for the two days, but it means we've got somewhere safe to relax um, for Christmas. And what we're going to do as well, we're going to rent a golf buggy by the looks of it, and then we can drive the golf buggy into Key West and get around there and explore Key West for a couple of days. So perfect. That's done, we can relax now. Right, let's go and find a pharmacy. We need a pharmacy, right love? A pharmacy and a bit of a food shop again because the fridge is rubbish, so we need to replenish. Hey, oh, look at this gosh. truck that we've parked next to. There's us there. Look, it's an old F-350. I have to take your word uh, Look at when it says it on the side here, love. But look at that, jacked up. And then tires and wheels, of course. Okay, Publix, let's go. Looks like a toy car. So a quick stop in Publix to get a bit of food and a few bits from the pharmacy for the boys. Publix. They even had a woman there packing the bags, packing our shopping in the bags and putting it in the trolley for us. How cool is that? Look, we've got some uh, additions to the van up here, look. <laughs> hey guys. One of the most crackers things we found in Key West were the gypsy chickens. Have you seen what's on the roof, boys? We've got chickens on the roof. We're going to probably need to get down from there, guys. I'm going to be heading off in a minute. Yeah, you. Oh. We're staying there, are you? Back in the day, locals kept them in the backyards with the purpose of producing eggs oh, and also they'd be dinner one day. George, come and have a look at what's on the roof. <laughs> Luckily, over the years, some birds managed to escape and become official Gypsy Key West chickens. It's a, it's a cockerel. <laughs> or a chicken. A hen. Later on, they were joined by the roosters, which were released when cockfights became illegal, thankfully, in the late 1980s. So I'm really, really pleased we got everything sorted. It was just a loose end we had. What are we doing for Christmas? We're we doing Christmas Eve. What are we doing Christmas Day, Boxing Day? But it's all sorted now. It's all organized. Now, we're gonna jump on the freeway back to the campground. See, I'm talking American already. This beach here is Loggerhead Beach and it's on the same campsite um, and it's where the loggerhead turtles uh, make their nests between May and October and you can't have any lights on at night, it's got to be completely pitch black because that can interfere with the turtles and their nesting. Wow, but look at this, yeah. we've got a grill again on yeah. the campsite here and we've got some table and benches. And this one's a little tighter to get on, I'll show you. So it was a little trickier to come on here like this. But uh, that's all right, we're still lost in there. You wouldn't get a big fifth wheel in here, I don't think. There you go. Um, and of course, water and electric 
is to the pitch so and access to the beach is just so easy winner winner like it nice what do you think, I think it's like this one yeah. yeah fantastic and are we gonna get a sunset down there yeah. we are aren't we Special sunset. Excellent. About an hour. Okay. Well, it seems we have temporary toilets or showers here on this one. Not sure why. Okay. Toilets and showers. Access to the beach. Right. It seems they're having work done to these toilets and showers here. That's why we got the temporary ones. And I've set the GoPro up for a little time lapse of the sunset in over there. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Um, because the grill out there doesn't look very promising, uh, I'm doing another one pot, one pot reliable dish <laughs> thing. It's too hot. I'm so hot in here. Um, <laughs> I need to turn the air come down so we can look up. Uh, chicken and rice, coconut stuff. Just shoving it all together, it'll be fine. And there it is, a one pot rice dish with coconut. And we think it tastes great, my love, even if you're disappointed <coughs> with it. Just a bit bland. It's not. Yeah. Can't find chicken stock that isn't like a whole liter of broth, which will just be awful in our fridge. <laughs> it won't last at all. <laughs> well, it's a little crowded this morning, as you can see. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant having this place to ourselves. It's fantastic. Right, let's see how the water is, shall we? Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is how Christmas should be. Right, let's uh, have a quick look around this end of the campsite, which is completely different to the other end we were at yesterday. It's fully booked. There's several pitches that are just left empty. I don't know if people have booked them and not come, or there's been a problem, but... Well, I've got Christmas up going on here. <laughs> Santa. Look at this pop top one over here. Safari Condo LDX. It's on a GMC. Love the look of that. And the beach here is just awesome. Look at it. It's empty. Beautiful airstream over there. Empty pitch and we're parked just over the way. It's around 25, 26 degrees this morning. Perfect if you ask me. Absolutely perfect. It's probably going to be too hot in Florida for me in the summer. And probably in the 40s but winter 25 degrees absolutely perfect i think we'll book every year now <laughs> you guys are gonna have to put up with florida vlogs every year but the state parks lindsay was saying how many state parks there are here um and i think it's an opportunity to check out lots of these state parks because it's such such good values and talking about that we're on to john penner camp today we're going to move on there for a couple of days where i understand there's lots for the kids to do there, snorkeling and things like that so that should be good and then christmas Key West. Of all the niggles and annoying things about this van, the thing we can't get past and can't get over is the fridge. Um, it stinks and it doesn't work. Yes. In here, every time you open it, the smell is awful. We're literally only using it to pre protect food that we can't leave in cupboard because there's also ants around. <laughs> um, and it's got to be in proper packaging or with its own skin that we're not gonna eat. We had melon this morning and it didn't taste good because we kept it in the fridge. So this is not working at all. And it's not cold. It's and it's, no, it's not, <laughs> not cold. Not cold at all. I'm calling yeah. it the airing cupboard. So what we're using as the fridge is the freezer. It's the freezer. But <laughs> what this means is, uh, once we keep our cold drinks cold, there's not a lot of room for food. So we're either drinking warm water and warm juices. We're chucking them in there. They're at the back. There is a lot of water at the back. Ignore the fact that it's just wine. You can see. Um, but we can't keep meat for any length of time or fresh vegetables for any length of time. And it's really annoying that we're now having to shop every single day. For bits and pieces. But we've got to have the Villa Maria cold in there, right? Yes, and the pina colada mixer, because it's nearly Christmas. But we've literally got eggs. We had some frozen burgers. They're now going to be fridged burgers. I've got some bacon in there and some cheese. And that's all we've got left because we just can't keep anything more for any length of time. Right, well, let's uh, pack up the uh, pitch and go shopping, shall we? Yeah.
Again. Look at all these conch shells the kids have been collecting this morning on the beach. George took his brothers for a walk and they were beach combing, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. What's the biggest one you found, George? This one. Look at the size <laughs> of that. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done, Georgie. Every, every <laughs> evening as the sun goes down, the, the hosts here host an evening ceremony, a welcome to the evening ceremony and the children get together and they blow conch horns. <laughs> we get a chance to do that. We didn't do it last night because um, the weather was awful the night before and last night we, we forgot. But there, it is something beautiful to do with your children if you come and stay here. These state parks, they really do great things, don't they? But we're done on this one. Yep. Um, we are leaving now. We're going to drive back up the Keys for another hour and a half where we're going to go to John Pennekamp State Park. Thank you.